Well, this was a pleasant surprise. Turkey, who has been dreaming about creating their own car to compete globally for over 60 years, finally unveiled their Türkiye'nin Automobili Girişim Grubu car, or simply TOG. And in this video, we're going to have a look at the car itself, the TOG. They released one sedan and one SUV. We're going to talk about the specs of it. They have some really cool technology in this brand new car, but we're also, of course, going to talk about what's most important and that is the design of the car. So let's jump in and let's watch the release video of this car together. I got a ton of DMs and uh, messages regarding this car from you guys to make a video on it and to check it out. And I'm glad you did because I think it's a really cool car. I haven't watched the, re uh, the presentation video, so I thought we'd do that together and kind of see what this car is all about when it comes to the design of it. First impressions now when I see it, it looks a bit like a Cadillac in the front. Maybe that has a lot to do with the LEDs, but that's the first impressions that I get when I see the front view. But it does look, it feels like it's almost, it, these are two concepts. So they made an SUV concept and they made a sedan concept and these are pr prototypes for the moment. But to me, they kind of feel production ready. Uh, they're probably gonna have to do some minor changes to uh, to the manufacturing to make it more cost-effective and so on But they look kind of production ready and they look good. It's they don't really stick out and We're gonna talk more about the design in this video when we dive into the details, but the first impressions looks good It's a good-looking SUV. I haven't seen the sedan yet, but we're gonna see that right now as well First of all, let me start by saying well done Turkey well done for putting this program together and creating your first domestic automobile. Congratulations! Not only that, but it's an electric car filled with cool modern tech. It's an exciting time for the auto industry right now. We're living through a global evolution and it's interesting to see what car manufacturers come up with. Not only existing brands, but it seems a new electric car company pops up every other week nowadays. I think that has to do with the simplification of the drivetrain and also the fact that they can profitably ride on this huge wave of electric momentum that we see right now. So let's dive in and see what the TOG is made of. Let's talk about the spec and tech of the two concepts, what motors and range are available and of course the design. The TOG sedan and SUV concepts were designed with the help of Italian design house Pininfarina, you can kind of tell by the looks of these cars. They don't feel insecure. They, it doesn't look like these are the first designs coming out of a brand new electric car company. The cars feel grown up. Solid proportions and lines with the sedan reminding me of the Audi Quattro concept from 2010. A car I had the pleasure of seeing live at Concorso d'Eleganza Villa d'Este in Italy while I was a car design student there. This was one of the tightest cars proportionally and the lines are super just like they're stretched out and it was one of the tightest cars I've ever seen in my life. It's such a shame that they out didn't put that into production. It would be cool to see that out on the streets. So let's dive into the specs of these machines here. Users will be able to choose from two different range alternatives offered by the high energy lithium ion battery technology. The TOG will offer two battery packs that provides either a 300 plus kilometer range or 106, 186 miles range or a 500 kilometer range and that would be 310 mile range. And this will allow the buyers to configure their cars choosing the most suitable range based on their needs. If you're only going to use it for, let's say, commuting around town, the 106, uh, 186 mile range might be sufficient for you. Although this might not be the leaders when it comes to range, I personally don't really mind that. I don't think that's a priority at this early stage of electric cars. What's more important is the fact that companies like TOG exists and are backed by the government. We need to get electric cars out on the roads as quickly as possible 
and I'm all for combustion engine cars for fun and recreation. Having a weekend car that's special to you, that has kind of a history and that you have an emotional connection with, that's also important to have. But I'm talking about the vast majority of cars out there. This isn't the case. They're used for commuting back and forth to work and most owners don't really care what's powering the vehicles. Same goes for commercial ve commercial vehicles. There are th these are the segments that needs to be converted into electric cars fast. And this is also why I'm excited about this enterprise in particular. The range might not be mind blowing, but the Tog will reach 80% state of charge in less than 30 minutes. So let's say that you choose the 186 mile range battery and you've been driving for 100, let's say 150, 160 miles and you're running low on juice. It would probably do you good as well to stop and stretch your legs for just a couple of minutes. Go have a coffee and a snack while the car is recharging. To me personally, this would not be an issue at all. And the batteries of the Tog comes with an eight year warranty. Two drive options are available. A rear wheel drive with a single motor offering 200 horsepower and an all wheel drive system with a second motor in the front. And this will double the power to 400 horsepower. Zero to 60 times are okay with it taking 7.6 seconds with the 200 horsepower option. Nothing really to write home about. However, this drops to 4.8 seconds with the 400 horsepower all wheel drive version, which is of course a lot better and a lot more fun. The TOG will also come with a level two plus autonomous driving capability as a standard. Now one tech feature that I can't wait to see is something that TOG calls the holographic assistant. And the idea is to take advantage of auto aug augmented reality and 3D imaging technology for the purpose of keeping the driver focused on the road and what's ahead instead of looking down on 2D displays all over the place. From what I understand, it works in a way that it follows where your eyes are looking around in the cabin of the car and it knows where you're looking. And with this information, the data you need, such as GPS, speed, etc., is projected as, hologram across, as holograms across the cabin. Not sure if this will be extremely annoying or useful. I guess we'll find out eventually. But it does sound like we'll be seeing some Iron Man stuff in production cars in the near future. And that's kind of cool. So now let's talk about the most important thing when it comes to cars. And that is, of course, the design of the cars. Me personally, these talk cars, I don't dislike the design but I'm also not really blown away by it. I can see some Lincoln Corsair in there with a hint of Audi Q3 and maybe even some Mustang Mach-E vibes in the front. And the sedan reminds me of the Cadillac CT4. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm gonna show you some pictures right here. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing. You see, when a brand new car company launches a car, it has absolutely nothing to look back on. No history and no design identity. They're starting fresh with a clean blank canvas and this results in taking inspiration from a bunch of different brands. This is totally fine and understandable. The togs aren't ugly, but they're not inspiring either. It reminds me of the design history of Kia, who in the 90s and the early 2000s had no idea what direction they wanted to take their design. It's kind of like they just blended all brands together and just put everything in one car and that was the Kia design language of the time. It was only recently that Kia found some sort of identity and this is what I think will happen to the TOG as well. For now, what's important is to get these cars into production. They are set to go on sale in 2022 with a guarantee from the Turkish government of 30,000 cars sold each year for the next few years. And this is a great, and to me, it's a fantastic example of what can be accomplished when the goal is clear 
and most of all, the resources are there. I look forward to seeing the TOG in production and hopefully we'll see more governments taking initiative like this to further speed up the conversion to electric drive.